Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and today is the first day of AI generated web quests, a free four week online course with digital badges and a certificate of completion. I'm going to walk you through the course layout. Notice this is on a Moodle platform. Everything under the blue or from the blue sides is for you. You just go through the center. You click notice now I'm under orientation. I'm going to scroll down and you see the activities that need to be done to do. This was done already, but this was a view. So the view, you just view the activity. Do you do whatever is there? We're going to go through week one. Week one, we're going to get acquainted. And you can see what's here by scrolling down and going through each of these do activities. If you have any questions, of course, there is always the communication and support form where you can ask your questions. The way to ask a question is to go into the form, and this is for all the forms, and simply hit add a discussion topic, add your question or comment, and then post to form. So we'll get started with that. Here we are. There's the subject line. You add whatever it is, the message, and post to form and I will receive it and answer your question or relate to your comment. So that's uh, week one. Then we'll go on to the second part of week one, which is the introduction to a web quest. And then all these sections, notice the last one is week four. And of course, the certificate of completion that you will get as soon as you complete the whole course. Let's take a look at the top blue here. Notice under course, we get the main course page under grades. You'll get a chance to see all the forms, everything that's graded, and then you'll be able to see your grade. If you don't see your grade there, please use the support forms and ask why it's not there. If uh, I added a comment, maybe I forgot to add a grade and that happens. Next to that are the activities. Notice there are two right now, the forms, and there are quite a few of them. And then there are other activities. Notice the resources are also available with information here and you can go through that. Now, how do we go back? Well, there are two ways of going back. We can go back to AI generated web quests here because we are here under activities that's called a breadcrumb these are all breadcrumbs or we can go to the left now let's see what's on the left on the left you have everything that's in the center but it's on the left if it's uh filled in notice this circle here unfilled means it needs to be done filled means that i've already done that and notice uh, there's a lot to be filled in here i can just go into the orientation or week one let me click on week one and then notice it takes us to week one, notice they coincide, what's in the center and on the left. I'm going to close that up over there and then take you on the right. On the right, you'll see these are called blocks, uh, various, uh, I guess you wouldn't call them tasks, but pieces of information here. Notice activities, the forms and resources, how we for the latest announcements where I make announcements calendar, upcoming events. Notice there aren't any. You can add comments. Level up means that you get more and more points for doing your work. Now, the completion progress is really important because this is where I know what I've done. Notice everything has to be, by the end of the course, it has to be filled in with this green color. Otherwise, I need to go in and do whatever is required right through. So just click on it and do it. Notice this one over here too that I need to do. So just click on it. It'll take me to the activity. My latest badges will appear here. My final certificate will appear here. It'll also appear in my uh, profile at the top right. But this is beyond the course, but you should know about it. So take a look at other things, but please only showcase what is within the course. So let me close off the right here. Oh, by the way, there are also stashes. You can grab them. That's just uh, another way of gamifying the course. And that said, let me know if you have any questions. The first thing you'll be doing is the introduction. After you view these, go into the introduction and introduce yourself using one of these 
DID or HiGen, and then adding the video to Mapify. Read all about it. But again, if you have any questions, you simply go to the communication. There are lots of explanation there and videos to help you out. But that's okay if it doesn't help you out. Notice also pick up this introduction. Let me pick that up there. And you start with add a discussion topic. And notice there's a question there already. Now subscribe to forums, good idea. You can also unsubscribe. What I normally do is I go into the main page, which is here. So let me do that now, go into the main page, and then I open the right. On the right, notice under activities, I go to the forums, and then I subscribe to all of them. You can also unsubscribe. You can also subscribe individually by changing the no to yes, or if you want them all at the beginning, subscribe, because this is the only way you'll get email notifications, which is really important. Make sure that uh, it doesn't go into spam. It might do that, and that you get notified about any announcements, and if you've been graded for your work or other people have commented on your work, on your posts, which is super important. All the grades are out of 100, no in-between grades. If you do the task as you should, you get 100, and that's it. Looking forward to uh, watching your videos, seeing you in the course, and uh, enjoying the content that you produce as you generate your own web quest. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Let me go back to the main page here. Close the right so you can get a, take a look at it. It usually takes you to where you were before. And that's it.